guys, I'm Kim Whitty from Whitty Artistry and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, please hit the subscribe button below to become part of my family. I'm showing y'all how to make a vicious raptor attack for the new Jurassic Park movie. Well, Jurassic World or whatever they're calling it now, but... Ah, ah, raptor madness! If you like me and like my videos, it would mean the world to me if you became a sponsor on my Patreon page. To create this makeup look, you're gonna need some supplies. Fake blood? Modeling compound, I'm using third degree silicone. Metal sculpting palette, some tools for painting and sculpting. Some sort of powder to powder the silicone. And alcohol activated palette with some isopropyl alcohol. Let's begin. If you are unfamiliar with what third degree silicone is, it's basically a two part silicone product that you have A and B separated. And when you mix them together, you have a 10 minute working time. It's a sculpting gel that after the 10 minutes, it'll start to harden and you'll have a really cool prosthetic that you can make out of kit. I just mixed up a little blob and I applied it to my arm with a metal spatula. Just smooth out the edges so it sticks to your arm and then I'm carving out the center with a metal spatula. I have some reference photos up of bear attacks or knife wounds that uh, make it easier to make a more realistic wound, but if you're squeamish, just look up some movie makeup. After I've successfully carved out the center and you let it dry a little bit so it's not sticky but it's still malleable, apply lotion to your fingers and just smooth out the edges. This will really blend in the edges of the silicone into your skin, it'll totally disappear and it'll look real. However, applying pressure to the edges of your cut wound does get rid of some of your harsh lines. You were cut with a raptor claw, so there are going to be harsh lines. Whenever you're working with third degree silicone, since you do only have a 10 minute working time, I do recommend that you work in small globs. I'm creating some more scratches because raptors typically have three claws. Just a pro tip for when you're creating a cut from something sharp like a raptor claw or a knife, the cut tends to be very, very thin at the entry point, tapers outward to become more jagged and wider, and then tapers back in when the blade or the claw would be pulled away. My third little claw mark, I wanted it to be chunky and have the illusion that it's a really deep wound, so I built up the edge pretty significantly on the upper portion. Once your silicone is completely dry, you want to get rid of that shine by using some sort of translucent powder. I'm using Ben 9, but you could also use baby powder. Color silicone, you can really use any sort of makeup that you have available, but what I find to be most effective and that looks the most realistic is alcohol activated makeup. This is just the Skin Illustrator FX palette. It is a basic palette with lots of blood tones in it. What makes alcohol makeup so effective for creating wounds is you can apply light washes of color. So instead of just going in with like fake blood and making it like raw blood everywhere, you can actually build up realistic textures and fat colors and blending it into your skin so it looks like your skin tone and having speckling, like all these cool little intricate intricacies that make a wound look more realistic. So the basic process here is I'm taking a lighter, more vibrant red and putting it in the center in sort of a speckling fashion, and then using a darker red to go under the deep edges of the cut. This will add some depth and it'll sort of look like a shadow as well. Then with an even darker blood color that has more brown in it, I'm going over the edges of the cut again just to make them look darker, deeper, and nastier. To hide the edges of the silicone, I am going to color correct it to match my skin. Basically, I do this by adding light washes of pink and little speckles of blue, and it really blends in with my skin because my skin is so pale. Something I tend to skimp out on is fake blood, but not for this makeup! I am taking theatrical blood and I'm applying it in the edges of the wound to make it dark and dried, and then I'll be adding liquid blood to make it runny and nasty because raptors. And the final look is complete. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I totally appreciate it. I really hope you liked it. I had a lot of fun. I don't do gore makeups a lot, but please let me know if you liked it or if you wanna see more crazy effects like this, especially in Halloween. So let me know your thoughts and opinions. And if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you don't miss any new videos. See you next Saturday.